Thank you. Thank you very much. We'd like to carry on now with a song from our new album in England, and it'll be out in America shortly. And it's a song with, featuring just Paul, and it's called Yesterday. At just two minutes and six seconds, the best song of the 20th century, and one of the most influential songs of all time, is also one of the simplest. I'm Dan Drake, and this is why yesterday is great. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Recorded in just two takes at Abbey Road Studios on June 14th, 1965, Yesterday is the first and possibly the best example of Paul McCartney's solo releases. Although credited as a Lennon-McCartney composition, Paul wrote the chords and melody himself after hearing them in a dream. To ensure that he remembered what he'd heard, he immediately stumbled out of bed to a nearby piano and began to work out the tune. He even used temporary lyrics to help him keep a sense of the rhythm. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yeah. Oh, my baby, how I love your legs. Yeah, that, that, that's how you remembered the song yeah. yesterday. It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working... The Beatles had 17 number one hit songs, 13 best-selling albums, and are perhaps the most prolific rock band of all time, accomplishing all of this in just eight years. Beyond that, as a solo act, and with various other bands throughout the years, including Wings, Paul McCartney has released over 200 songs. So with all of that material to analyze, what makes Yesterday stand out? Number one, adding strings to rock and roll. During the recording process, longtime Beatles collaborator and producer George Martin proposed the idea of adding a string quartet to the song. Now this may sound commonplace to us here in 2019, but in 1965, this was a relatively new idea. In fact, Yesterday is credited as one of the first pop songs to ever use elements of classical music. George Martin and Yesterday paved the way for what is now a standard staple sound. Number two, Paul going solo. Most people know that the later Beatles albums are riddled with solo works. Paul, for instance, wrote Back in the USSR on the White Album. John wrote I Am the Walrus, and George wrote Something, among many other examples. But Yesterday started that trend and gave permission to each member of the group to move in that direction. This one song helped to usher in what would become a staple of the band's dynamic. Number three, a shift in tone. Not only did this song innovate within its genre and begin a songwriting pattern within the band, Yesterday was also the first song of the Beatles to ever be released that felt as sad as the subject matter. And if I said I really knew you well, what would your answer be? Other Beatles songs talk about ending relationships, but Yesterday actually sounded rather gloomy. This is quite a contrast to earlier Beatles hits like Love Me Do and I Saw Her Standing There. This decision opened the door for the band to continue to shift tones and take chances, album after album. Number four, Yesterday, was for adults. This shift in tone that came with Yesterday also helped the Beatles capture a more mass adult market. Most of their fans up to this point had been young people, young women specifically. But this song gave the band a great deal of credibility among the older crowd cementing their reputation and their legacy for years to come. Number five, short and sweet. Yesterday is barely over two minutes, and the song hits you with beauty, lifts your spirit, yet ends quickly and quietly, always keeping you wanting more. Songs like this move you to hit the repeat button, to listen over and over. And number six, its chords and melody. In music, there are certain chords within a key that are almost always placed together. Fellow music theory people will understand when I say that there are common progressions like one, four, six, five.
but Yesterday, like many other Beatles songs, use seemingly simple yet sophisticated musical turns. Yesterday was set in the key of F, yet Paul tuned his guitar down to play in the key of G. And in the key of G, the song utilizes the standard 1, 4, 5, 6 chords, but right off the bat gives you a 7-3 combination and includes a major 2 as well as a minor 2, all in the same song. Yesterday is one of my all-time favorite songs by my all-time favorite band, and I'm not alone in that. In a 1999 BBC Radio 2 poll of music experts and listeners, Yesterday was voted the best song of the 20th century. It was also voted the number one pop song of all time by MTV and Rolling Stone magazine in 2000. Yesterday also holds the record for being the most covered pop song of all time, with over 3,000 versions recorded, according to the Guinness Book. It is said that at any given time, some version of yesterday is probably being broadcast somewhere in the world. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Why It's Great exists to bring positivity to the internet. Each video will cover why songs, artists, books, films, and so many more things are great. So if you believe in our mission, please consider subscribing. And if you love our videos, please head over to our Patreon page and consider a monthly pledge. This video was also brought to you by Audible. Click the link in the description to sign up for a free trial and you'll get not one but two free audiobooks. Before you go, please smash that like button and drop me a comment. I'd love to hear about ways you're helping to bring positivity to the internet. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.